guys my name is Marilyn if you're new here today is Monday and I'm gonna be doing my like weekly reset routine with you guys I have made Monday my reset day when it comes to like cleaning decluttering getting myself prepared for the week ahead planning I'm gonna take you guys through how I plan on my Google Calendar how I write up my to-do list and also doing my laundry I just made my little latte so I'm gonna be just drinking this for a little bit while I go do my laundry but I actually had a very busy weekend and honestly it just depends on the weekend depending on plans and everything but it was just St. Patty's a bunch of my friends and I went out on Saturday night and I didn't drink a ton but I did drink and obviously that kind of throws me off I need to kind of get myself back on track and in my like health and wellness grind it feels like after I have a night out no matter how much I drink so yeah we're gonna be doing that today I'm gonna be taking you guys along with me to the gym later I think I'm gonna be hitting up her body along with going out Saturday night I also stayed at Brandon's house that night and then I was with him pretty much all day yesterday so I didn't really have much of a Sunday reset besides at night I did like a sheet mask I self tanned and oh my gosh my self tan turned out so bad on my hands this morning like sometimes it's just hit or miss I feel like I always try my best with self tanning my hands properly and today is just like one of the worst <laughs> that's ever happened yeah you can see that kind of there not being home most of the weekend kind of threw me off i need to like reset my space my room i do feel like reset in terms of like my skin you know doing some self-care and my hygiene and like showering and all of that but i think it's just more so like getting myself in my productive mindset again and like setting myself up for the week so i'm gonna be taking you guys along with all of that i think i'm gonna go get my laundry all set up and like get that in just so it's running while i like make breakfast and everything let's go put some laundry in five minute makeup a goal of mine lately has been to get ready throughout the week because i really feel that it makes me more productive and just feel more put together through the day i really truly believe that and i think just taking a quick couple minutes to use some makeup feel really confident put together and that you're getting ready for the day every day is really important at least for me lately this whole bathroom situation for me has always been kind of out of control i get a lot of products sent to me and they all just start accumulating here on my countertop i'm thinking it'll be really good to do some sort of like spring cleaning organization situation that includes organizing my products and my bathroom because my makeup drawer is also kind of a mess i mean i kind of have a spot for everything but it is overflowing and i think there's a lot of stuff in here that i need to get rid of sometimes it doesn't close properly too so that's kind of a problem for like day to day i would say i also just put aside some towels to be washed i like to wash my little skincare headbands because they get kind of dirty like sometimes especially if I have them on when I'm putting my makeup on contour and stuff gets in them so I'm washing those along with my bath towels and I'm gonna go pop them in now because I think my second load of clothing is ready to be put into the dryer now and then I'm gonna hang up my first load and then get the day going with like actual work stuff because we haven't gotten to that yet something about just doing laundry whether I like really need it or not it just resets my whole brain and like like, I don't know it makes me feel like I'm resetting my whole space and like just the act of like folding my laundry putting it away cleaning everything the fact that I have like a full closet of clothing that's like all clean just makes me feel like I'm starting my week on a good note and that's why I've changed my laundry day to Monday I still live with my family so we have to like have designated laundry days I don't know if that's like something that you guys can relate to but there was a time where we would always get mixed up or like on a Saturday I was like wait I want to do my 
my laundry and then my brother would want to be doing his laundry so now i've made my designated laundry day to be mondays and i feel like it's the best day because it's like the beginning of the week and it starts the week off on a good note so that's just my thoughts around that my hair is feeling really dirty already it doesn't look dirty but it's just feeling really dirty and i don't really know like what to do with it i'm so excited because and i think i'm gonna start like a whole new vlog this week but i ordered these like heatless curl rods if you've been following along i've been super into doing heatless curls because it's been like the easiest thing for me to just do i wake up and my hair looks so good and i just find it's like low maintenance it's easy and i've been loving it and i've been using the bathrobe method for a really long time now but i've been seeing this girl on tiktok named tatiana and she uses these like heatless rods where she like rolls her hair and then she just puts two different rods up here and your hair kind of looks like a donut and i ordered them off amazon for like 15 dollars so i'm gonna experiment with those rods and see if they're gonna be better than the bathroom method because her hair looks so flawless and blown out every single time and the bathroom method does make your curls a little bit different i would say like they're a little bit tighter it's not like really blown out and really voluminous but it definitely does create some good curls but i'm super excited because the rods are coming today so i probably will wash my hair and try that tonight because i'm just too eager and i really want to try it Okay, the desk area is looking a little bit busy. I mean, I do have these two packages here that I need to open. This lush one has been sitting on my desk for so long. I'm gonna open those first and then get to planning on my iPad. I'm gonna get started with this one here. It's from a Korean skincare brand called P Calm. And I'm really excited because I have been really getting into Korean skincare. I've been seeing so much Korean skincare on my TikTok and I'm influenced. Also, so many lovely Korean skincare brands have been reaching out to me to send me products and I've been really excited about it and saying yes to all of it because I just really want to experiment with it and see how it changes my skin. I still want to film a whole like self-care night routine for you guys and show you my updated skincare routine, specifically my night routine because I'm incorporating retinol, I'm doing chemical and physical exfoliant and I want to share all of it with you guys. They sent over their foam cleanser. I love foam cleansers. Kato cream? I think that's how you pronounce it. Ooh a water barrier sun cream korean sunscreens are genuinely the best so i just know that that's gonna be good and then i requested these because i have been wanting to try toner pads i was honestly gonna go out and buy my own they kindly sent over their toner pad takes care of your skin after cleansing when your skin's at its weakest so i think it's like a barrier toner pad these are lovely and i can't wait to try them and then i got a little easter lush package a little golden egg shower gel this looks like it's gonna make me sparkly can we see the sparkles in that holy crap but it's been sitting on my desk because i've been having a very busy week i didn't have a chance to open it i just keep accumulating more and more lush and i need to do something about it either give some away to my friends or use all the bath bombs because it's getting out of hand Oh, oh, oh gosh, oh gosh. Powder just went everywhere. Okay, please hold. What a mess, what a mess, what a mess. And it's literally yellow. I'm using toilet paper. Okay, I went to get a little Ziploc bag to put this one in. It's a little yellow duck. And then there's a cute little white bunny. So that's very cute. And I'm just gonna put all this away and then we'll get started with writing the to-do list. My desk is officially all cleared out and I did just remove all my press-on nails. They kept popping off. I don't know why this set just wasn't really great they were also kiss and i really like the kiss brand so that was weird i just tried a different style this time and for some reason they just kept popping off no matter how many times i re-glued them so back to stubby nails one thing i think i need to do i just need to do a lot of scheduling and one of them being kind of not important but i do need to book a pedicure for my mom and i this coming weekend so i'm gonna make a phone call and do that also schedule in like workouts i really like to plan my schedule around my workouts and also what I want to film. I feel like lately or at least this past week I feel like I've been kind of slacking with my content where I don't have content goals. I'm someone who really likes to post and film when I feel like it but at the same time when I don't have a deadline or it in my calendar that I'm gonna film something because I've thought of it ahead of time I probably won't get it done. I think I do somewhat need a structure but also need to go about it how I'm feeling. If there's something that I particularly want to 
share with you guys then I should share it because I want to and I really want my content to come off really genuine and authentic for you guys so that's kind of where my head's at with that but I've got my lovely iPad here I have a little day-to-day -day planning to-do list thing in my notes that I've created I have a little section at the top here that says things I want to do in my free time and I haven't filled that out in a while but things like that probably would be organizing I have a bunch of stuff just laying around my room that needs to be donated so I need to take that stuff at some point probably this week but I should put that in that list and then underneath I have every single day so that'll be really helpful for me to just like write out in a checklist format what I need to get done and kind of a projection for the week if you will first of all I'm gonna get started with writing my own to-do list a lot of it being just catching up on emails editing some things that I haven't edited from this weekend yet that I want to post and editing this vlog making that appointment maybe booking some workout classes for this week I do already have a Pilates class book for Wednesday but because I use class pass I want to like make sure I'm using my credits and just get stuff slotted in so if even I can do like a jaybird class or hot yoga or something like that later in the week that would be really good and if I can't get any spots for it now then I'll keep an eye out for it later this week and see if I can find an opening for that an appointment for my mom and I to come in for gel pedicures on Sunday. We'll do 2 p.m. please. Could I do a gel manicure as well? Yes, please. Okay, see you then. Bye-bye. I wanted to show you my little calendar setup and how I like to plan with it. For instance, when I plan my workouts, I have a little calendar that is specifically for workouts here. And then I'll put the type of workout that I'm doing. Today, I'm doing push. And I really like to keep track of those in my Google Calendar. So it's really nice and you can just drag everything around in here. I really love it. And then I've got a Pilates class planned on Wednesday. And then I've got my YouTube content schedule planned out. And I'm just going to like work on filling this out so that I have more of a structure for the week. gym it is so nice out and so sunny and i don't even think i need a sweater but i'm just wearing this graphic tee that i always wear and then a little green set from lulu and i'll link it below if you're interested I've got my gym bag which i'll also link below it's from amazon and i'm gonna go meet brandon there for a little upper body workout so i'll see you guys there i'm excited to get back into the workouts again i worked out like pretty much almost every day last week but took off saturday and sunday so it's been a good rest but i'm ready to get back to it so let's go
just made myself my little nighttime puka tea. So I'll just put that there for now. I'm gonna blow dry my hair now and then try the heatless rods because they finally came in. Guys, I put my heatless curls in and I'm looking so crazy, but I used two rods. I feel like I could have pushed this one a little bit further back, but you know what? It's first time. It took me like five tries to even get my hair up. It's not super tight back here, so hair is kind of loose back here, but you know what? It's okay. We got it all up. I have now brushed my teeth and I'm ready for bed. I have lathered my face with Cicaplast, my favorite thing ever, and now I'm gonna put on the Cicaplast for the hands because, guys, my hands have been dry. Everyone's been telling me that my hands are dry. Not even me noticing myself, but just people telling me that they're dry when they like touch my hand but i'm feeling so reset and just better that i'm back in my routine today i hope you guys enjoyed coming along with me for my little monday reset weekly routine i have grown to really love mondays and i think just making it a day for like self-care and just kind of rejuvenating yourself makes you feel a lot better about starting your week excited to start your week on a positive note and just a little bit more motivated and at the end of the day the things that you do in your routine that make you feel good is gonna make you feel a lot more motivated and positive for the week ahead so i think that's really key for mondays and just like resetting for the week in general and i hope that you were very inspired with this video and i hope it motivated you i'm crossing my fingers tonight that i wake up with beautiful voluptuous blowout looking hair make sure to subscribe if you aren't already thanks so much for watching and i will see you guys in the next video